hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel today i'm gonna do a quick ship with me video i got three orders yesterday and i'm going to go ahead and package them so that i can drop it off at the post office i'm having a very late start to my day because i'm going through it right now um my wife left a few days ago for deployment so i'm still processing a lot of stuff and i've just been moving pretty slow but i'm still trying to keep positive and keep productive so without further ado let's get into this video so the first thing to sell yesterday was the st john's bay men's dress pants and i will pop a picture of the pants on the side of the screen so these are the pants looks like this and this pants I've had for a while this is one of the pants that I bought in the earlys when I first started um like picking up items because I wanted to start reselling um clothing um this is one of the pants that I picked up the thing about darker color pants is you would not believe I lint rolled this bad boy yesterday when I pulled it from my um from the bin and oh and it still is acting like I didn't lint roll it. Oh my god, it's so annoying. <laughs> anyway. So these sold for eighteen dollars. Um, the buyer sent me an offer of eighteen dollars, and I accepted it because they've been in my closet for so long, and I was just ready to get them out. So I accepted it. So that gave me a profit of twelve dollars and thirty-eight cents because I also offered them discounted shipping actually wait no I sent the customer offer of $18 and they accepted it and I also offered them discounted shipping so I made a profit of $12.38 I'm not mad because I paid a dollar for these so technically I made back my money and some so I just know not to pick up these pants anymore. I don't pick up these pants anymore. Like, I'm just trying to get through those old items that I've had in my, um, what you call it, in my inventory for a minute now. I'm just trying to get to them. What am I doing? That even not supposed to go there. That's supposed to go in the middle. Anyway, I'm just trying to get through them. Some of them I, I donated, and some of them I just drop the prices on them super low just so that i can make back what i spent so i can use that money to buy new inventory all right so i use the tyvac envelopes I love them so much. Even though sometimes they do not stick properly, they're still not too bad. My post guy always like re reforce my um Tyvex with some more tape. But because I'm going late to drop this off, he's most likely, it's going to be already off of work. Because he works the earlier shift from like, I think 5 a.m. I believe to like 2 p.m. I think. I don't remember. Or, or, or 12. I don't remember. But sometimes I don't see him if I go after 11. So I'm going to reinforce it myself because the other people don't. They just take it.
All right. Okay, so the next item to sell was uh, these vineyard vines on the goo pants. Um, the, the crazy story about this pants, let me tell you how much it sold for on my property, and then I'll tell you a story about this pants. So the, the lady sent me an offer of $65, and I accepted it. And Poshmark took their fees, which was $13, so I made a profit of $52. I paid $1.79 for these pants. So technically, I made a profit, I'll just say, of $50. Anyway, these are the, this is how it looks. So there are different ones to this pants. And I picked up a couple of them before, and they are still sitting. But that's how the tag, the inside part of it looks. I saw these and I was like, uh-uh, I don't want to mess with no vineyard vines anymore because I still have some that hasn't sell. And I was like, it makes no sense. But then I was like, these ones look a little bit different because I I don't have the undergoo, undergoo pants and, it's, and it doesn't have, um, it doesn't say OTG on mine. No. Yeah. So I was like, let me, um look them up and see and i looked them up and a couple of people sold them for like 30 dollars 40 dollars um one person sold them for 60 so i listed mine for 70 because i always offer discounts whenever i see somebody likes an item so i was like i'm just gonna list it at 70 and that way if somebody um likes it then i send out a discount of 10 percent and they don't accept, then I'll send, out a, I'll send out a discount of 20% and so on. So, this, I've had this for less than a month. And a lady just sent me an offer. And I love customers like that. It's just send me an offer because I don't know how much you want to spend. And if you keep waiting for me to send you an offer, I'm going to send you an offer that profits myself as well. So if that's not what you, that's not the like price range you're expecting, then send me an offer and then I'll be able to accept or decline. Most of the times I will accept it if it's not a ridiculously low ball offer. Uh, I put it too far out, dang it. If it's a ridiculously low ball offer, then no, I'm not gonna accept it. Cause some people be trying it, I swear they do. It's like you'll post something for like ten dollars and they'll send you an offer for five dollars. Girl, the item is already low. <laughs> what is going on? You know what? Let me just do this side and then I'll do the other side. I don't know why every time I push it down, it's still not um closing. I'm half asleep, y'all. I just woke up. <laughs> I've been having a hard time sleeping, so I had to force myself to get up just now. Anyway. I hope y'all having a good year so far. My year has been going. It's been going. Sales has been slow for me, honestly. And that's also too because I haven't been doing much to bring up my sales. And I need to cross list. I only sell on Poshmark and I realize a lot of resellers sell on multiple platforms, which makes so much sense. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna work on cross listing to multiple platforms. All right, the next item I sold, which is the last item today. Well, I sold it yesterday. Today, I haven't checked anything yet. So the last item was this Yeti, well, is this Yeti body butter straight leg pants, um, new with tags. 
looks like this. Really nice pants. And um, someone sent me an offer of $30. And I was half asleep when they sent me that offer. And I just accepted it. And then after I accepted it, I was like, what did I just do? Because these pants are originally $70. And I didn't pay $70, but they're originally $70. And I just listed them. Whatever. Anyway, it's okay. I made a profit of $24 because they sent me off. I didn't have to give them this kind of shipping. And that's one of the reasons why people do wait for you to send an offer because you have to give them discounted shipping um so i get it i do get it because i would have done the same if i was buying something and i wanted to get it and i knew that i would get discounted shipping if i like it i'll do the same so but yeah this person just sent an offer of 30 dollars i had it listed for 60 I accepted because I was half asleep. And I'm not mad because I still made a profit of $22 because I paid a dollar um, $69 for these. I just round that up to $2 because of taxes and all those different things. I just round everything up to $2. I just round up to the whole, a whole number. I'll tell y'all my total for that day once I'm done doing this here. Because I think I can multitask some with things, but sometimes I just can't. I ain't gonna lie. Especially when I'm half asleep. <laughs> oh. There we go. Where did I put the other one? There it is. I need to actually, am I getting low? No. I ordered some stuff actually from USPS about two weeks now and it still hasn't arrived. So I need to check on that and see if they dropped it off at the mailbox and I don't know. Okay. So, with those three orders yesterday, I made a profit of, let's see, blah, 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 $84, um, which is not bad. Three sales, $84. I'm not mad. I've seen where people have sold six items and made $84. So, I am one of those people where I rather sell items that are higher valued per item and have less sales in a way than putting a bunch of effort for lower valued items because then it's like all that work I'm putting into packaging it, photographing it, all those different things. It's like, anyway, that's the end of this video. I'm gonna go drop these off at the post office so that I can get it out to my customers and do some work today. I have to photograph a couple more items so I can list on Poshmark and I'm going to also look into cross-listing some of my items to eBay and um, Merc Mercury, Mercury. You know what I'm talking about. Anyway, I hope y'all have a good rest of your day. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video, share, tell a friend, tell a friend, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye for now.